Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Brown versus Jones. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Ms. Brown, you claim the defendant got you pregnant and now refuses to do anything for your two-month-old daughter, Journey, leaving you in financial distress. You claim today's DNA test will prove that he is Journey's father and you need him to step up and help you support your baby. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Mr. Jones, you say you are 100% certain you are not her child's biological father and have evidence to support your claim. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. So, Ms. Brown, you say his paternity denial has left you in financial trouble. Yes, ma'am. Explain to the court. Um, since she was born, you know, I have a hard time, like, taking care of her financially on my own. I had a job, currently not able to work because of my baby. Um, I've called him. Ryan, she needs... You Mr. can't Jones. work, why? Because you can't afford child care? Like, I have no one to keep her. I'm in this alone by myself. I have no support. It's always been hard on me. And I'm like, well, what you want me to do? Rob a bank? Should I go out and steal diapers again? You want me to get arrested again? You know, it's very Again? hard for me. Again, yes. What happened? Times are hard. I, I have no family I can depend on, you know. I have to get it on my own. So, therefore, if my kids don't have, I have to go to a store. If they need milk, clothes, shoes, I have to go still. Oh, no. To provide. So, when I call No, Miss Brown, you don't have to. That's a crime. It is. And if you commit crimes, you get put in jail, prison... And then who's going to watch your children? You don't ever have to do that. Do you understand me? Yes, ma'am. So you were already arrested for that? Yes, ma'am. So to prevent myself from, you know, going down that road again, I've called him. My baby's wrapped up in towels for three days. Mr. Jones, my baby needs diapers now. Mr. Jones, you haven't helped with the baby at all? Recently, I have moved, changed states, so I haven't been able to uh, provide for her and the baby as I should, but she chose to be in South Carolina instead of in the state that I'm in. She's in that situation because she chose to stay there. So, wait a minute. You're admitting that you haven't done much for Journey. Yes, ma'am. And you know that this child needs diapers, needs milk yes, to survive. Yes, ma'am, I do. But you haven't done anything. I mean, I have done small, you know what I'm saying, as much as I can do, give. Do you acknowledge that you are a potential father? Yes, but I believe I'm not. I'm more on the 95% that I'm not because it's 5% because I did have sex relationship with her. So I'm not denying the whole thing, but because of her behavior and because of the things she does and things she says makes me believe that and then she got a baby so daddy taking care of her. So what was the nature of this relationship? Take me back. I want to understand this relationship. Okay, um, I had just moved with my cousin to um, North Carolina. I had met her at work, and um, she had a boyfriend, you know? So I took Chased her from him. Me. Okay, Chase took... <laughs> got her from him, literally, from one house to another, you know? And then um, before we could really get to know each other, it was... She's pregnant, you know? So you say you were having sex... Yes, ma'am. ...and you were living on the same roof? Yes, ma'am. You know one another? I mean, nope, 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 nope. So if you were having sex, you knew her? Yeah. <laughs> I knew her enough to have sex, but not, <laughs> not to know that she was, you know, kind of off. I didn't know all that in the beginning. Was this relationship a committed relationship, Ms. Brown? In the beginning, we were just... Like I said, I was just leaving out of a relationship, you know. Like I told him, I'm not... I don't plan on dealing with you until I'm completely done with my relationship that I'm in. Like, no turning back. I no, completely... You, you went from one house to another. You ain't tell me you was trying to... How you trying to close completely... the relationship and you come from one room to another? That's not closing it. I completely left my last relationship before I had any dealings with Mr. Jones here. The same day? <laughs> Mr. Jones, like I said, he can't... He okay. chased me. You know, when I finally left, like, no turning back to my last relationship. I'm not turning back, no phone calls, no texts. Me and Mr. Jones, you know, we waste no time. Like, we got straight to it. Like, we moved together. It was just me and him every day, all day, even at work. We even worked together. So how soon after this did you get pregnant? It was about two weeks, y'all. It was... I about was... two weeks. <laughs> about two weeks, and then I came home from work, and it was a surprise. And I'm like, hold on. I ain't even... We haven't even went through the first... <laughs> 
You know, it has not been two weeks. I went to the emergency room girl. and they did the ultrasound. And I was like, well, do you guys know how far along I am? They was like, they can't tell because, you know, it's like kind of just the beginning. But they gave me an estimate due date of May 29th. So they was like, you know, follow up with your doctor. So I had to find a doctor, you know, and I found a doctor, went to the doctor. He was there, asked questions, you know. When was the conception date? They said September the 4th. That don't mean nothing. You could, that, you could, the weekend before you came over the miles, it could, that's the same time. I'm, that's what I'm saying. You went from one house to another. So how am I supposed to say that that's my child? Mr. Jones, it's your assertion that since she went from her ex's house to your house, that it could potentially be her ex's child? Yeah, that was, that was a big issue. And, and at first, I was okay with that, you know? I was, you know, like I said, I'm an older man. You know, I'm almost 40. A little boy. I'm almost 40, messing with a little girl. So I got caught up and I, hey, I got my hand caught in the cookie jar. I can't change that. You know, it was always a what if and this person here, this friend here, and this guy pop up and she gone to her daddy because house. Because you don't do nothing for my child. The only guy you're I talking about is a friend that I have financially mm -hmm. that helps me a support friend. because he a don't friend, do nothing. A friend, that's, it's just too many friends, you know? If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. When she told you she was pregnant, did you initially doubt? He told me I was pregnant. We was in the house one day and I was like, I'm tired, I'm sleepy. He was yeah, like, I knew! He said, you're pregnant. I said, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Like Daddy so said, next when day, I met her, she had a pudge in her stomach. I thought of him drinking beer. She the was next already... Day, the next day, I went and took a pregnancy test, and it came back positive. So I went to his cousin's house, and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm pregnant. So you said she was showing quickly for you. You said you turn around and she was showing, which just, made you feel like she had gotten pregnant before. Yeah, I just had an intuition. It's just something told me that. And then all of a sudden, voila. <laughs> I'm like, well damn, was I right? Did you come here like this? Then she kept adding stuff on top of the garbage to make me Adding believe. what? The friends, the text messages, the way she talked about the child. So you see text messages? Yes, ma'am. And you think she's already pregnant when she comes to live with you? Yes, ma'am. That's the basis of your doubt? Yes, ma'am. All right, I wanna hear from your witness, Mr. Jones. Please stand, ma'am. Step up to the podium. State your name. My name is Jamila Cross. Miss Cross, thank you for joining us today. You are... His cousin. I'm his first cousin. Mr. Jones' first cousin. What do you know about this situation? She told me she was pregnant. I told her she didn't know if she wanted to keep the baby. So I was like, well, if you're not going to keep the baby, I suggest you not tell him because he wants a baby. He's about to be 40 soon and he wants a baby. He hasn't had a baby. And she told me that she don't know who the baby daddy is. <laughs> Lie. <laughs> I have... Let I... me see that, please, Jerome. She wants to give the baby up for adoption. I said, you can't do that without his signature. This is a text message on, conversation. On Facebook, yes. Oh, so on Facebook? Yes. How you sign those papers without his signature? I Googled that and you can't do that. Bye, crazy lady. Shake my head. The response, I definitely didn't need his signature. Nowhere on that paperwork. I don't know who her dad is. Yeah, I said that. Just to shut them up, like I don't just, need you're not that. Shutting nobody up. One time she says that you're not shutting nobody up. Pregnancy. Well, Miss Brown, I mean, let's keep it real. I mean, that doesn't shut anything down. That opens everything up. No, it didn't. Conversation, shut it down. It did. doubt. That opens up doubt. Okay, if this is my child, why ain't I'm on the birth certificate? Was you there? I was you that. there, Ryan? Did was you, you making it able for him to be there? How, how could I make it able for a man to man, be there when this man tells tell me he's not allowed time. to come because he just started a new job? Because she's playing I just started my day. new job. I don't want to leave she's my playing. job. I'm not going to keep taking days off. I just you got never the took job. A day off. Just got it. It don't matter. She want me to take days off <laughs> two, three weeks ahead of time. She won't just drop a, Oh, I'm going to the hospital. I need you to be sure. And then when she did go to the hospital, she waited till the baby was here to call me. Listen, you're indicating that you would have been there for the birth of the child, but you got a new job. Yes, ma'am. I mean, Ms. Brown, you're saying he hasn't done anything. You don't even think he wanted to be there. Clearly. We all could have helped her. Journey is two months old. Two months. You're saying to date, hasn't done anything. Hasn't done nothing, never seen her. Only thing he got was pictures and 
I ain't never and did sometimes nothing. through Facebook or even over over the phone, you know, you get to West call and receipts, hear her voice. Like, something is better than nothing. Believe that. What something have you done, Mr. Nothing. Jones? I mean, like I say, all together, I might have seen maybe 100, 125. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think she was going to do that. That's obviously that's you're saying like that's said, a lie. Like I said, that's nothing, a lie. nothing is, see, I ain't even got the receipts. I started to bring the receipts, In Your Honor. Head. I wish you would have because it's a courtroom. Yeah, because it would have shut her up because, like I said, it wasn't much. It was 25, 30 here, 20. When she's, I ain't got no diapers, I ain't got no milk. He don't do nothing. Your Honor, one time when she did come up, we were supposed to take the DNA test. At like 2 o'clock, she had called me. Mr. Jones, is this. this what you're about to testify to? Is this the timeline you yes, submitted to the court? Yes, ma'am. All right, go ahead. Let me look at it. Okay, so at I say about roughly 2.30, we was talking, going back and forth about me coming to do the DNA test. And she had a rental car at the time. So come 4.15, 5 o'clock, I go to where I think she's at. Okay. So I call her, I call her, I call her 15 times, 10 texts, from 4.15 to at least 4.30. I'm sitting there waiting on her. At so, the DNA testing facility? No, no, we had the home DNA test. Oh, okay, so you waiting for her to come in. over. Yeah, we was, doing, we was gonna do the mail-in. I waited till every bit about 4.45, maybe 5 o'clock. No answer from Ms. Brown, no text back, no nothing. Come 10 o'clock that night, here come Darissa. I was asleep. I gave the baby a bath and fell asleep. My lies, phone, was there. she had every lies, excuse, lies, but lies. how was that lies? Lies, Ryan. What happened? What happened, Ms. Brown? He said- I came, I wasted my, oh my gosh, I wasted my time, basically. I went and got a rental car, like just to go ahead and get this, before we came here, to go ahead and get this out the way so he can step up and be a man, you know, and help me with our child. I go, I get a DNA test, a home DNA test. I drive to Charlotte. You know, I'm up in Charlotte for like three days. All right, Mr. Jones, I'm here. You come, you come to where I'm at. I'm at my daddy's house. You know where he lives. You at your dad? You a liar. So he never comes. So I go get a room where we stayed at once upon a time. You know, I was like, uh, I'm at the on North Tryon where we used to live with the full kitchen and stove and refrigerator. They had the two beds. Okay, okay. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Call me when you get outside. Phone never rung. Phone number wrong. So I call him. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? I'm here. I'm still in the same place. You in the parking lot? I walked outside in the parking lot. I don't see him. So then his cousin called me, and her words were, We was going to come, but you didn't answer. We I'm like, so y'all never place. So y'all never showed up. Y'all never wasn't came. Right y'all wasn't like there. She told her. So wait a minute. So when you got the ride, you saying now you went to the wrong place. Yeah, because I didn't know, like I said, I just moved to North Carolina. So I didn't now, he know. He says he was calling you. Did you get his phone calls? Ryan did not call me. <sighs> Somebody lying. Mm-hmm. Were then, you trying to call him? I called him <laughs> one time. You outside? Where you at? At 10 o'clock. She, 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 she tell on herself. She lied so much, she tripled over She. Okay, well, she wait a minute. Time. Was it 10 o'clock, Ms. Brown? I don't remember the exact time. I just know I told him he needed okay, to hurry well, up. Okay, I told remember him to this. hurry up and get Why here. Why ain't my name on the birth certificate? I told him he needed to hurry Remember up this. and get here. Because you're not there. You're not a man. You want to be a little boy. You want to stay with your mama. But, you don't want to do nothing for your I daughter. I want to stay with my mama. Exactly. You don't want to do nothing. You want to keep you, on you doing what you do. Why you sitting up there lying? Ain't no lying I don't nothing. live with my mama. Why is you lying? <laughs> Listen, your TT I'm was telling you, you, better watch out. One of them things in your Listen, Ms. Brown, Mr. Jones, this isn't getting us anywhere. No, ma'am, it's not. The only thing I want to know is that's my child. And that's what I have. The results are here. Thank you, Lord. Jerome, the envelope, please. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Brown versus Jones, when it comes to two-month-old Journey Brown, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Jones, you are her father. What? Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Like, thank you, Your Honor. Thank you.
What do you feel in this moment, Ms. Brown? I, I'm relieved. I'm happy. Hopefully he can step up, you know, get people out of his ear, face reality. How does it feel, Mr. Jones, to know you have a beautiful little girl? I'm happy. I'm scared. I'm happy. I'm <laughs> excited. I'm... I appreciate the fact that you stood there and just said, I'm happy, but I'm scared. Because there's nothing wrong with that. And so now, I want you to channel all of those emotions that you have into her. Do you understand? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma all right. I wish you the best of luck. Court is adjourned. Thank you. Ms. Brown, <laughs> I'd like to see you in my chambers. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> now, Ms. Brown, during your testimony, you testified to the fact that you had been so in need that you had to steal diapers and you were arrested for that. That really bothered me because I don't want any woman to ever think that it is appropriate to go out and commit crimes and steal when you don't have for your child. And so I have something for you. Okay. All right, Jerome's gonna bring it in. This is for you. Thank you. That should cover you for a little while until we can get everything on track. Oh.